Hello SpaceX fan, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the latest recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX's rocket launch facility is taking shape for its upcoming launch of the Starship. Musk first unveiled the predecessor to the ship in 2017 under the name BFR. SpaceX designed the fully reusable rocket to cover missions currently handled by the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy while enabling more ambitious missions. The ship uses liquid oxygen and methane as its fuel, meaning that, in theory, astronauts will be able to go to Mars, use the planet's natural resources to generate more fuel, and use that to return home, or possibly venture out further. In August, SpaceX stacked SN20 atop its Super Heavy, known as Booster 4, for the first time creating a vehicle 395 feet tall, the tallest rocket ever built. The duo was de-stacked in short order, however, so technicians could perform more work on each element. SpaceX aims to send humans to Mars in the rocket, refuel using the planet's resources, and either return home or venture out further. The orbital flight, expected later this year, is the first step towards this goal. SpaceX aims to send the first humans to Mars by the mid-2020s. The long-term goal is to establish a self-sustaining city on the planet as early as 2050. And as the time for its launch comes closer, SpaceX is prepping SN20 for the Starship program's first orbital test flight. Previously, the upper stage of the magnificent ship has been tested quite frequently, and now it's Super Heavy's turn. SpaceX conducted a brief engine test at its South Texas facilities on October 18th with SN20. The blaze-up was rather muted, suggesting that it was a pre-burner test with SN20's Raptor engines. Each Raptor has two pre-burners, which heat and mix the engine's liquid methane and liquid oxygen propellants. But this test could soon be followed by a full-on static fire, in which SN20's engines roar to life, in earnest, while the 165-foot-tall vehicle remains tethered to the ground. In July of this year, SpaceX fired up the massive booster rocket for its new Starship spacecraft in a short first-of-its-kind test for the company's ambitious new launch system. The towering stainless steel booster, called Super Heavy, ignited three Raptor engines in a brief static fire test on a pad at SpaceX's Starbase facility in southern Texas, near the village of Boca Chica. The Super Heavy booster, designed to support the Starship in missions leaving Earth, features 29 Raptor engines to help support its mission. In a September 2019 event, Musk suggested the figure could be anywhere between 24 and 37, but that 31 was likely the ideal figure. The new version of Super Heavy will also have no large fins, plus legs similar to the Starship itself. Musk also explained that there are upgrades in the works for the sea-level Raptors, bringing the thrust from 200 tons to 250 tons. SpaceX has conducted a number of 6.2-mile-high test flights in Starship prototypes, including an end-to-end -end successful jaunt this past May by the SN15 vehicle. No Super Heavy has gotten off the ground yet, and SpaceX is grooming Booster 4 to be the first. Jonathan Hoffler, SpaceX Vice President of Commercial Sales, claimed in July 2019 that the goal was to potentially reach orbit in 2019 before completing the first commercial launch in early 2021. In September of that year, Musk claimed an orbital flight could happen within months. SpaceX has two major Starship missions scheduled for the near future. One is Dear Moon, a flight announced in 2018, which will send Japanese billionaire Yasaku Maezawa and a team of eight other civilians on a trip around the moon in 2023. The other is NASA's Artemis mission. The Starship is expected to serve as the human lander for the agency's first crewed mission to the moon since 1972. Although expected for 2024, Musk has suggested this could happen sooner. But to carry astronauts from the Orion spacecraft to the moon's surface, the Starship will have to go to the moon first. That means SpaceX will have to get to orbit. Beyond that, SpaceX aims to send the first humans to Mars by the mid-2020s, possibly around 2026. From there, the goal is to establish a self-sustaining city on the planet by 2050, which Musk estimates would require around 1 million tons of cargo. Musk claimed in 2019 that SpaceX could build the city over 10 orbital synchronizations. 
In other words, when Earth and Mars are at the closest every 26 months, SpaceX would launch a fleet of rockets. Doing this 10 times means SpaceX could build the city in around 22 years, which means it would have to send the first fleet of rockets around 2028. One of the most fundamental methods to ensure Starship's reusability is to find a way to keep the Starship from burning up in the atmosphere of Mars and Earth. Instead of relying on thousands of heavy ceramic tiles to shield Starship from the heat, as NASA did with its space shuttle, Musk says the spaceship will bleed rocket fuel through tiny pores to cool itself down. In theory, putting liquid between Starship's steel skin and the scorching hot plasma generated while it plows through atmospheric gases would prevent the ship's destruction. Musk tweeted out a short industrial strength clip of Starship's hexagonal tiles being subjected to re-entry temperatures as it approaches those of the space shuttle, pointing out that the white areas where the temps are at their highest can top out at a scorching 1600 degrees Kelvin and still taking a beating, or should we say heating. Musk explained that the white hot parts reached orbital entry temperature of around 1600 degrees Kelvin adding that the capsule skin may still require additional cooling measures if they detect that the extreme temperatures are capable of eroding any part of the heat shield. If needed, he tweeted, Starship's tiles will get supplemental heat resistance in the form of transpiration cooling, which would circulate a gas or liquid through the tile structure to help keep the heat in check. The heat test is the latest mini milestone in Starship's journey toward ferrying passengers first to the moon and, Musk hopes, of one day carrying people all the way to Mars, while remaining capable of turning right back around for a return trip to Earth. Musk defined the heat test success in terms of the vessel's ability to endure re-entry conditions and then turn around and take off again without the need of any kind of space shuttle-like overhaul. Starship needs to be ready to fly again immediately after landing. Zero refurbishments, he tweeted. SpaceX has completed several full-size Starship prototypes during the rocket's development, unveiling the first in September 2019. But with the planned orbital launch, fans have finally seen how the ship will look like with heat shields. The first orbital flight, according to FCC documents, will take off from Texas. Over the course of 90 minutes, the ship will fly to orbit and land around 60 miles off the coast of Hawaii. It will be a small step forward, but one that could send humanity farther than ever. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.